Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the bench. And today we're reviewing J.M. Boswell's Sweet Tea. And that's what's going on at Noah's house. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm a little bit behind on my tobacco reviews, so we're gonna we're gonna do this one today. And today we're doing J.M. Boswell's Sweet Tea. Aha, Sweet Tea. Hopefully you can get that. And this was the May Blend Club edition with Mutton Chop Piper. Big shout out to Mutton Chop for introducing me to all these great blends in a tobacco shop that's not really that far away from where I live. Anyway. <laughs> there it is. Um, as the name says, sweet tea is sweet. It's an aromatic. Um, I really didn't like it at first. And in the end, I warmed up to it. I thought it was okay. Not sure if I'd put this in my rotation. It's definitely not cupcake, which I just got like four more ounces of the other day. Um, but it's not too bad. So let's get going here. Got us some matches. And I'm smoking my sweet tea today, because I've smoked it through, when I look through my notes, uh, I'm going to say five different pipes. And I got around five different flavors, how it burned, um, and I'll go over that. But I did just acquire some uh, Missouri Mershoms. I got uh, the Diplomat series. I got a straight and I got a bent. And these are my first cob pipes, which I'm going to do something about that but I had them I cleaned them and I'm like oh am I gonna break them in I was smoking in English and then I said like, you know I have to smoke some of that sweet tea make some more notes and it really worked just spectacular out of a Mershon out of a cob so char light is done I'll get this fired up and get the book out and we'll go through it Mm -mm. Okay, uh, these Mershon pipes, oh man, Mershon, Mershon, nah, I'm probably saying it wrong. I say a lot of things wrong. Um, after a few smokes and they kind of burn in a little bit, I think that's what you call it. Oh, I really like them. They're really inexpensive. Um, I don't like the, well, I don't want to get into the pipe right now. What am I doing? We're talking about the tobacco. All right. Mm. Enjoying a cup of coffee today. It's about six o'clock. It is a Monday for me. I don't know what day it is for you. It was a little on the cooler side, um, which isn't bad because we were like really hot last week and then we cooled down over the weekend. And it's a little drizzly out there. Just did a little watering in the garden and I figured, well, let's go and let's make us a pipe video. So, oh, let me look at this. This microphone has been acting funny lately. Hmm. Okay. I got my book. I like my book. Mm -hmm. All righty. Wow, it burns so good in one of these pipes. It doesn't get hot. All right, so here we go. These are my notes. For J.M. Boswell's Sweet Tea. Um, like I said in the intro, this is the May Blend Club uh, blend. That's a lot of blends. Oh, and while I have you, I always say it at the end. I'm going to say it now because I noticed that my video viewership kind of drops off a little bit after so many minutes. Um, like the video, subscribe, share the channel around, tell some people, hey, this guy smokes a pipe and grows tomatoes and has an RV and builds things out of pallets. And he's kind of goofy. Um, I'd appreciate it. It'd be really cool. I'm over 200 subscribers now, and that's awesome. But back to the blend. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so this was for May. Um, once again, I bought two ounces. 
Um, I'm not going to go over all that. I go over that in all my videos. Uh, Boswell's, you have to buy a minimum two ounces per blend. And this was 375 an ounce. Tends to be what their Boswell's aromatics are, or around 375, and the Englishes are a couple dollars more. First off, the smell. And the name kind of the name kind of says what it's going to be. This is sweet tea. And it really is. And I usually get my wife and my daughter, I'll be like, smell this. This is what I'm getting. What are you? And they always pick up something different than me. But I was getting this very sweet smell, like candy, like cherry candy. It smells like pie. Um, it's very intensely sweet. It smells like canned fruit, like old fruit cocktail. Mm. I mean, it, it, first smell, I will admit, I thought it was a little strange smelling. Um, it has a different, a little different flavor and a little different, uh, I'm not sure what the topping or casing they put on there, but it's very sweet smelling. Moisture, spot on as always. Um, Jam Boswell's, they, I don't know how they do it, but every tobacco I've received so far has been just beautiful. Uh, color, it's mostly black. Got some medium and light browns in there, as to be expected. Um, going into the, the char light. It was really nice. I was getting a real nice Cavendish taste. And I do like Cavendish tobaccos. It had like a Virginia aftertaste. Kinda, not a cigarette aftertaste, but just a little sweet Virginia. And I'm thinking maybe that's where some of this real sweetness is coming from. And I thought it tasted very smooth. There's nothing harsh about it. Um, if you're a new pipe smoker and you're smoking aromatics, which everybody seems to do, I did, and watching a lot of people's videos, seems like everybody did. You're going for super, you know, maple syrup, cream, and uh, they're kind of harsh and they're hot and they burn you. Boswell's um, aromatics, they don't. And this one, it lives up to it. It was smooth as could be. My first impression, I got a slightly bitter note. Not harsh, but just like a little slight bitterness on the, on the tongue. And no bite whatsoever. Now, it was smoothing out as I smoked through the bowl. It was a cool burn. And it didn't really taste as sweet as it smelled. And I was getting like a cherry candy flavor. It wasn't overpowering. And I was getting that cherry flavor right at the end when I was done. At the bottom of the bowl, I was getting like that after. It was like a, a slight cherry candy taste. And I, I thought it was pretty good. I said, so far, not too bad, but it's not cupcake. Um, the bottom of the bowl was still smooth. I like that it's not too sweet, hot, or overpowering. Nice cherry aftertaste. Definitely a sipper. The further down I smoke, the more tea flavor I was getting. And sometimes I think, and Mutton Chop touched on it too, that uh, there's a lot of subconscious in your brain with the name. It says sweet tea, so you're thinking it's going to be sweet, it's going to taste like tea. Um, and that was my first smoke on the 2nd of May. And another day, I was into another bowl, and, oh, my first smoke, I forgot to say it, I was smoking it out of my Meerschaum pipe, not this one, my actual Meerschaum pipe, and I was having a cup of coffee. Now, the next day, I was smoking another bowl, I was uh, smoking it out of my Neil Monnier uh, pipe, he's an artesian pipe maker. And it had a bit different flavor smoking it out of that. It still had that nice cherry flavor. Um, I looked up the blend because I kept thinking, oh, is that Virginia? No, Virginia. It's Burley Cavendish. And that's pretty much, you know, got some toppings and stuff like that. Um, I like to blend more out of the my pipe from Neil than what I did out of my Meerschaum. Uh, I had a bowl after dinner one night out of my Nording Freehand, which is one of my favorite pipes. And I said, I seem to be warming up to this blend. I thought about it today. And it's definitely a good first smoke, something nice in the morning. And it's definitely, I said, was better out of my Nording. I said, this blend is really hitting the spot tonight. Bottom of the bowl has more tobacco taste and less of a sweet taste, like the sweet burned off and you were just getting that tobacco taste. Uh, smoking another bowl out of Manoring, having a glass of wine, 
And I said, it's good, but I, I was getting, I was definitely getting into the blend. It has a different taste. It's nice, but there's just some, I don't want to, it's not bad. It just, there's a different taste to this blend. And then I was smoking it out of my Peterson, which I always like to smoke an aromatic out of my Peterson. And it seemed better than all my other pipes. I said, this is not my favorite Boswell's blend, but it's not too bad. Definitely took me a minute to warm up to it. And I did do this note oh, a couple weeks ago. And I said, I probably wouldn't buy it or keep it in my tobacco rotation. But after keep smoking some and getting some smoked out of here, I might have a couple ounces to hang out in the back. But I might get an itch for this stuff. And in the end, I said, uh, my favorite pipe to smoke it out of so far is this. Best out of my uh, Missouri Mershom Diplomat. So, what did you guys think of it? Um, hopefully you guys are following along with Mutton Chop. Um, his Sweet Tea Review is out already. I said I'm a little bit behind. I had a little bit of stuff to do with the RV. Which, there's a very cool video about the RV out. Because the renovations are done. Mm, 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 mm. Now, for my rating. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It, there's something about it out of this pipe. It's just, it's, it's really good. Let's go with a cup of coffee. This is a good blend for in the morning, too. You know, I get up on the weekends. I have a cup of coffee. I try to get up before everybody else. A little bit of Noah time. And, uh. Sometimes I'll get that itch, and I'll be like, I'm going to go have a pipe. I'll come down here, come to the bench, and I don't want some super strong English or something like that. I want that something like this is nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so as I do uh, on my channel, I don't give smiley faces or anything like that. I give matchsticks. And to this one, I'm giving three matchsticks. It's not the worst. Definitely not the worst. It does, for me, it took a minute to warm up to. The first time, I was like, eh. But after a while, it's it's a nice blend. And I'll, I think I'm going to change the one note I put there. Well, I'm not going to change it, but I'm going to change my mind. I probably would buy a couple more ounces of this to have in my little aromatic stash there. Mmm. But it's not my favorite. It's not the best. It's not something that I'm going to, like, you know, buy 10 ounces of and keep a huge stock and want to smoke it all the time. But I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I I like it better than a other blend, and I like it less than another blend. Put it that way. But I'm going to try to keep these review videos a little shorter because sometimes I don't think people want to watch me for 15 minutes Smoking a pipe, talking about uh, Boswell's sweet tea. But sweet tea, out of the Mershon, Missouri Mershon, the Cobb, I think was the uh, was the way to go for me. Well, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. My channel's expanding. It's getting, uh, you know, it's getting pretty diverse. I have the gardening, I have the pipes, I have the RV, I have me building stuff. Um, I'm up over 200 subscribers. Thank everybody for doing that. And I would definitely, I got jammed up on the RV, so I'm going to get some more pipe videos out. I think that's going to be pretty, pretty fun. Um, I've acquired a lot of tobaccos recently. So keep an eye out for them. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.